I can help build you a short-term rental portfolio. And guess what? Don't matter to me where you live, man. I'll help you no matter where you are located. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I'm James Wise. I run this bitch. This bitch being Holton Wise TV, right? And today... I'm working for an investor, my man Vapool. I've been working with this dude years, right? Vapool, we've been together for years, bro. You're out there in SoCal. I'm up here in Cleveland. But it don't matter to me that you're in California, right? Because I help you invest in real estate in Cleveland no matter where you live, folks. My team is your on-the-ground team, right? We handle the property management, the maintenance, the construction, the insurance, the whole shebang, right? And we do a wide array of stuff, right? Vapool, as you know, you picked up some low-income rentals from us years ago, right? Twenty, thirty thousand dollars houses. Now you're looking to shift gears. You're looking to diversify, right? It's a cool thing about real estate, man. There's all kinds of real estate out there. You can make money flipping, wholesaling, low-income rentals, luxury rentals. You could do a lot, right? Don't limit yourself to just investing in your backyard, folks. It's a whole big country out there, a whole big world out there, right? And with technology the way it is, shows like this, companies like Airbnb, VRBO, there's so many things we can do at our disposal, right? So what you want to do, Vapul, you want to look into our new program for short-term rentals. Uh, we're just getting into this, and we're running things a little differently than uh, the long-term rentals. What we're targeting is luxury real estate, right? We're targeting the nicest properties in our market, which are still much, much cheaper than luxury real estate where you're at, right? Luxury real estate in California, much more expensive, right? We're getting you luxury real estate in this market, Ohio, for prices of probably DNF grade real estate in your market. So the fact that the real estate's nice, though, that's not enough to make you want to buy it, right? Just because it's nice doesn't mean it makes money, right? The real key to this is how do you as an investor make money? And that's what I'm going to get into right after this. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and start investing today. Welcome back. Now, let's do what we all came here to do, and that is go over the numbers. Look at this beauty, right? Look at all those trees in that pretty old yard, right? Vacant home, okay? It's dated. It looks a little bit like your grandma's house, right? But it's a super duper nice house, right? The address is 2311 Kingsbrook. It's in Westlake, okay? That is an A grade neighborhood west lake ohio folks this is where the wealthy live in the cleveland market right for baseball fans y'all remember travis hafner on the tribe back when they were still called the tribe now they're the guardians or whatnot y'all pc never mind never mind that's a different video different show uh he lived out in west lake uh big z's adrena Sogaskis lived out there in west lake you know, I think uh, I think even Kyrie Irving lived out in Westlake back when he um, was on the Cavs, right? So very nice area right, right, right on the lake there. Super duper nice, right? So with this particular property, it's super big, okay? But it's dated. We got to do some upgrading, right? We're not going to get premium rents with this kitchen, right? With this kitchen working like a low-income rental, sure. But we're not talking about low-income rentals right now. We're talking about luxury real estate in a luxury market that we're trying to get a luxury price but as you can see dude the space of this house is great like we probably don't need to do much to that floor like just all these big wide open rooms man this is what people want dude they want spaces to gather and that's what we're going to give them this bathroom not going to cut it though dude this is like straight out of the 80s we got to totally upgrade these make these look good right this room right here we're going to turn that into a bedroom right this house is listed as a three but we're going to make it a four three why am i doing that why do i want to turn this into a bedroom because we can't look at this like a house someone's going to live in no 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 for us 
This is a monetary vehicle, right? We are turning this essentially in to a large hotel almost, right? But for families, right? They don't have to get separate uh, rooms in a little hotel. Like we're targeting people who are coming into town for a few days to a week that have a large amount of disposable income and they want to all congregate, right? So we need to stuff as many beds as we can in these kind of rooms, right? When you're on the host website, the Airbnbs, the Travelocities, the VRBOs, the more people you can sleep, the more money we make, right? So we are going to be stacking these kind of rooms. Like this room right here, I'm thinking two bunk beds, right? You want to stack these rooms with beds, right? Here's another room, more sleeping, right? But we got to, you know, we got to upgrade these bathrooms, dude, and we got to do some repainting like this this old 1980s pink carpet, no one's paying you a premium for this, dude. It probably smells like friggin' somebody's grandma's house or something, right? Down in the basement, we could sleep a bunch of people down there, right? There's just so much space here, right? The property itself is very, very nice. Like, look at this. Nice private spot, right? You know, these families, they're going to want to have nice private spots, right? Think of like a family reunion, right? You don't want to look at Billy Bob the neighbor. This is great. Plus, the neighbors are going to love that it's private, right? They, you don't want the neighbors uh, bothering you, right? Neighbors don't typically prefer to have short-term rentals next to them as opposed to like a permanent resident. But it's, it's, it's nice. It's kind of private. That's what your people are going to want, right? That's what your people are going to want. That's how we're going to get those premium nightly rents, right? So what I'm thinking here is we could pick this up. My opinion, 350, right? And then bringing this thing into 2021, making it look fresh, making it look high demand. I want to put 40 G's into it, paint, carpet, fixing up those bathrooms, nice tile showers, vanities, getting rid of any feel from like the 80s, right? Get rid of all that and then drop another 25 or so on furnishings, right? All them beds I was talking about earlier. It ain't free, right? So all in 415. Now, as far as the nightly rental rate, since I told you folks, we are going to pack as many people as we can into this. Look at this ginormous house. We're going to pack people in there, man. We're going to get Premium rents, five fifty a night, right? If we were able to rent it out every single night, that'd be over fifteen grand for the month. But that's not how it works. You don't get to put people in there every single day. I wish you did, but you don't, right? So we're gonna factor in a thirty eight percent vacancy, which is the historical vacancy rate in this county from Airbnb's data, right? Directly from Airbnb. Now, of course, we're not just using Airbnb though, right? Airbnb is just one tool in our toolbox. In addition to Airbnb, right? We're going to be marketing things, these things on Holton Wise TV. We're going to be marketing these on VRBO. We're going to be marketing them on Travelocity. So many places, right? So maybe we achieve higher than that. Maybe we don't. I presume we'll achieve higher than that in the summer. We're probably going to achieve lower than that in the winter. That's just the name of the game, right? Cleveland, it gets cold in the winter, folks. But with all that stuff said, after the fixed and variable expense estimates are accounted for, I presume you're going to make a clear NOI of 87742 on average. Now, this is where it gets good, though, right? $415,000 investment. You ain't spending four fifteen. No, no, no. I want you to spend eighty-seven and a half on your down payment. Put in the other 65 cash to, you know, furnish it, upgrade it, all that jazz. You're all in at 152 k 152 k now you control a $415,000 piece of real estate, right? We're getting you $250,000 of long-term financing. That's the best, best, best gig in town, man. That's the name of the game, right? Controlling $415,000 worth of luxury real estate for only. 150 k that's what you want to do, right? Financing, this great financing, 30-year fixed interest, low interest, tax deductible, that's the number one reason you should be investing in real estate, honestly, right? The fact that someone's going to loan you 252 k for 30 years at a super low interest rate, that's tax deductible, that's why you should be doing this. If you want to open a restaurant, you can't get a loan like that, right? The only downside to that financing is they limit you to 10. They limit you to 10 of those mortgages. And if you're smart, you're going to burn the first one on your home where you live, right? Take care of home base first, okay? After that, you got nine left. Do you want nine $40,000 mortgages? 
Or do you want nine two hundred fifty thousand dollar mortgages, right? If someone's giving you this money at record low prices, folks, take it, right? Get as much of that financing as you can. You only get nine of them, right? So after all said and done, even after you pay off that mortgage, which your guests are going to pay for you, you're looking at a forty nine percent cash on cash return in what I believe is an incredibly low low risk investment because we are in a luxury market, right? You're taking a property that's dated. You're fixing it up. Worst case scenario, if you had to resell this, we could resell it to owner, occupant, buyers and making it look crisp like that, making it look totally updated. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to be in like the 430, 440, maybe even $450,000 range, right? Now, if you actually run the numbers on that, by the time you pay commissions and closing costs and all that jazz, you're not really going to make any money on a flip, so don't get any crazy ideas, right? The idea is to hold this sucker probably five to seven years, get some appreciation, because where's stuff going to appreciate in the Cleveland market? It's going to appreciate in the nice areas first, right? Get your money. As a short-term rental, get a little bit of appreciation, then go ahead and sell it, right? That's kind of the game. Or hold it forever. Hell, maybe you are an investor and uh, you want a vacation in Cleveland because you got family there. Well, there you go. Your investment meets your lifestyle goals. All told, I dig the deal. I think it makes sense. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.